Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will take a look at the T sample row component. So T sample row component is basically used when we need to get a subset of the data. When I say subset of the data, let's say I have thousand records. All I am interested in uh, the line number thirty two. Let's say from thirty two one fifty or any any sort of that example. So if you are looking for a range, specific range in a data set, if you are looking for a range, a subset of data, then in that case we can go ahead and we can use sample row component. Similarly, in order to pick for the first row from the data set, then we can use T sample row so let's go ahead and take a quick look at uh, the available options so here it is it, it's provided you know uh, this this will give you a you know uh, high level information of how to use the you know, logic so basically this component we are looking for a range uh, when when we say one comma five, so that means if you take a file, uh, then you know the first uh, row to the uh, number row five, everything will be selected. So anything between one to five will be selected, uh, including not excluding. So one two three four five. So similarly, anything between ten to twenty. So either we can say one one comma five, or either we can say you know ten dot 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 twenty. Uh, similarly, uh, we can have multiple conditions like you know uh, 23 dot dot 45 and then you know comma 48 we are selecting only 48 record and then from you know 50 to uh, 54 so this is how it will be displayed so if you are looking for uh, first 10 rows this is what we can do or this is one way of writing we are selecting the first three then this is the other way of writing the same so either way we can write let's say if we want to select skip the fourth and then select the fifth and then from fifth onwards skip let's say we'll start from eight and then let's say from eight to twenty if if, if you do that then let's save this one and uh, let's also open the account data file so that we will we'll get a clear understanding of how exactly it is retrieving the data so data set account data open account data okay so we have this file let's go to the top let's see let's run the job There you go. So let's take quickly a look about the data. Let's copy this data. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the conditions that we have provided or the range that we have provided. So from 1 to 3. So 1, 2, 3 should be selected. So 1, 2, three so what we got one two three so first three lines we have selected that's good and then we have skipped the fourth and we needed the fifth one so we skipped the fourth and i think one nine seven two is a record yep the one nine seven two record and they run what we said and we also need eight to twenty so then one two three so eight so from here to 20 right so seven nine three to 20 so 23 93 so 23 93 so it has extracted the way we have provided the range so all t sample does is all this component what we can do is 
only we can provide the range that's that's pretty much the usage of the t sample row it it can be used on different scenarios uh, you know that might come up in a real world uh, but uh, to sum up whenever we need to figure out a range or whenever we need to get a range or whenever we need to get first record or the last record basically we will uh, we can use the t sample row so that's pretty much it for this